Hey everyone and welcome to the club and welcome to another weekend art challenge. With Christmas upon us, I thought it'd be fun to create a festive Christmas Pikachu. So let's get started in the middle of our page. We're going to draw in the eyes first. We're going to have the head slightly tilted over towards the left. So over here on the left side, we're going to draw in the eye. So starting at the top, we're going to draw in a circle for the left eye. And we're going to draw a little highlight at the top. So at the top here, we're going to draw in a smaller circle. Let's color the bottom area in black. Let's move over to the right eye, but again, we're going to be tilting the head, so we're going to draw the eye on the right slightly higher than the one on the left. Starting at the top, circle around, and back up to the top. We're going to draw in that highlight, but we're going to push it in to the inside just slightly. So we're going to draw a small circle at the top. We're going to color the bottom area in black. Let's move in between the eyes and draw on the nose. So this is basically an upside down triangle. So right down here we're going to start with a line going across. And we're going to take those two ends and come down to a center point. Now you want to make the nose quite small. And we're going to color that in black. From here let's draw in the top of the mouth. So just below the tip of the nose we're going to step down, draw a point. From here we're going to curve over towards the left underneath the eye. Curving down and then up on the left. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Curving down and up on the right. Let's draw on the bottom of the mouth. So at the bottom of these curves, we're going to come down to a bottom curve down here for the lower mouth. So curving down to the bottom, we're going to pull that up towards the right side. We're going to tuck the tongue inside the mouth. So from left to right, we just want to draw an arc going across. From here, let's go ahead and draw in the cheeks down towards the chin. So beside each eye, on the left side here, we're going to curve out. And then we're going to pull this back in underneath the mouth. Now we want to go back up on the right side. So we're going to continue this curve, going over towards the right, and then pulling it in towards the eye on the right side. Let's layer in the cheeks. So just on the side of the face here on the left, we're going to curve around and then back down again. It's almost like an oval tucked in the side of the face. Do the same thing on the right side. So starting on the side here, curve up, in, and then around. We're going to curve up the side of the temples just slightly. So from this end on the left, we're going to curve and blend up. On the right, we'll curve up as well. From these points, we just want to curve up along the sides of the head. And we're not going to go all the way up. We just want to go up to where the ears would naturally be, just at the top above the eyes there. From this point, I'm going to draw in the left ear. So I'm going to draw this one sort of out in an angle this way, but we want to tuck it in behind the head. So just down here from that point, we're going to curve out and then up to the tip of the ear, right about there. We're going to pull this back in, curving in the opposite direction, pulling the pen towards us, down to right about there. We're going to draw a little separation at the top of the ear here, so on the inside, we're going to curve out. We'll go ahead and color that in black later on. Let's move over to the right side and draw in this ear. So from here, we're going to step down from that line and curve out, and then up to the tip of the ear. Now we're going to pull this back in the opposite direction. You want to try to retain the same thickness of ear on the both left and right side. We're going to go ahead and draw on that separation line. So from the inside of the ear at the top, we're going to curve down. Now from this point, I want to draw in a little Christmas hat. So in between the insides of the ear, I'm going to draw a series of curves that bridge right across. From left, we're going to go up with a curve. We're just going to continue these curves all the way across till we get to the inside of the right ear, to right about there. Let's draw on the top of that hat fur. So we're going to take this and flip it over on the top. So up here, we're going to curve in, we're going to do another curve out, going all the way across behind the right ear. From here, let's draw on the hat going to a point. So we're going to tilt this over towards the right side. So starting on the left side here where the ear meets this fur, we're going to curve up and out towards the right. We're going to curve down, pull this back down on the right side. Up here, we're going to draw in a little pom-pom. So we just want to make it look a little fuzzy. So just over here on the left side, we're going to do a series of little curves all the way around until we get towards the inside there. Let's add in some earmuffs on the side. So we're going to do that same treatment just in a curve around the side of the head on the left. So behind the ear, we're going to curve out. We're just going to continue this and then just bring it in sort of behind the cheeks. Right there. Let's do the same thing on this side. So behind this ear on the right, 
Just continue this curve. And then in behind the cheek on the right side. Now from this point, I want to layer in a scarf. So I'm going to have the scarf coming down in the middle here. So on the left side of the chin, I'm going to curve down and out. We'll move over towards the right. We want to kind of go a little bit wider as we come down towards the bottom. So I just want to line up the two lines along the bottom here. We're going to connect those with a curve. It goes down in the middle and then back up. Let's add the little tassels along the bottom. So we're going to step up from the bottom. Just draw a curve, just following that same curve along the bottom. And then in here, we're just going to draw a series of little curves, just evenly spaced out from left to right. Like that. Let's add some stripes. So we're going to leave a gap and draw that same curve across. We want to try to match that same distance, that same space, all the way up towards the chin. Let's layer in the scarf around the neck. So just underneath the chin on the left side, we start up here, we're going to curve down and behind the scarf. On the right side, we're going to start underneath the right cheek, and curve down and across. We want to make sure that we're sort of lining these two lines up here. On this side, I want to add a curve for a stripe. On this side, we're going to curve in the opposite direction. So right here, curve out. We'll add one more on the side up there. From here, I'm going to work my way down the body. So just on the side here, I want to curve around and then up in the middle of the body. So right underneath the scarf, we're going to curve out, down, and we're just going to pull this up in the middle. We're going to layer the right leg over on top. So right in here, we're going to draw a little curve going across that point there. So from the side, we'll curve over it. And then we're going to curve up and then over, just aiming towards the face. From here, we just want to curve it upwards. Just blend it up like that. Now from here, I just want to add an arm going up like he's waving. So right here, we're going to do an overlap and curve up to the tip of the hand. So curving up and out. I'm just going to close that gap off there. Now we're going to draw in some mittens. So from this point, I want to curve around and then down. We're going to add in the thumb. So we're going to step over, do a curve going over that line, and we're going to pull it back in. From this point, I'm going to curve in behind the cheek, just like that. Let's add in a little glove line. So right here, we curve down and across. Let's add the hand in the back here. So we're going to start behind the scarf, right up here. We're going to curve out and over towards the left. We're going to add the hand, so we're going to have the hand sort of bent back like this. So going up, we we'll curve out, and then we're going to pull that back in like that. From here, let's add in the thumb. So we're just going to draw a little curve, a little loop like that. From this point, we're just going to tuck that in behind the body with a curve. And then up here, we'll just draw a little glove line. Let's add in the feet. So we're going to have one foot pointing out this way. So we're going to start in the heel area, just underneath this curve. We're going to curve over towards the left, and then out. From here, we're going to curve this back in. So we're just going to round out the tip of the foot and curve that back in underneath that leg. We'll add in some toe separations. So right here, we're going to curve over, and step over towards the end of the foot and curve over again. So let's draw the foot on the right side. We're going to take this foot and just flip it over on this side here. Starting at the bottom of this curve, we're going to go out. Now we're going to round out the toe and then pull that back in behind the leg. Now let's add in those toe separations. So right here, we're going to curve across. And at the end of the toe, curve across like that. The final step, we're going to add in a tail. So we're going to start on the side of the body here. We're going to go across with a straight line. We're going to go up in an angle behind the arm. Now this goes up pretty high. And then up here, we're going to curve across to the tip of the tail. It's right about there. We're going to work our way backwards now. So from this end, we're going to angle down. So we've got a really long line there. We're going to pull this back in. Curving across to right about there, leaving enough space right here. We're going to come down in an angle, just following that same angle we have here. We'll go across, and we'll go down one more time. We're going to go down, in a short angle, in behind the body. And then right here, we're just going to draw a little zigzag. Going up, down, up, and then down. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's our festive Christmas Pikachu. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.